Hello, this is MD Tech Video here with another review. Today we will be talking about how you can extend the life of your Windows XP machine until April the 11th, 2019. Now, while Microsoft has officially ended support for Windows XP Home and Professional Editions back in April of last year, there was a registry modification that was discovered that could allow users to continue using their XP machines with a continuous stream of updates until 2019. The reason for this is that Microsoft is still supporting POS Ready 2009 which is abbreviated for point of sale, which is used by ATMs, cash registers, that type of machine. And since both operating systems, Windows XP and POS Ready 2009 are built off of the same code, virtually all updates for POS Ready 2009 are supposedly compatible with Windows XP. Now I have used this on several machines in the past just as I did with Windows XP Unofficial Service Pack 4 which I just did a video about earlier today and it's a very simple registry modification. Just to show everybody I am in fact using Windows XP Professional. This should work with Home Edition and Professional but it is very crucial that you are running Service Pack 3. I do not believe it will work with Service Pack 2 or 1. Just update your system and it should be able to work. Just to right click on the desktop, drag your mouse over New, and then go down to Text Document. And now we can double click on the Text Document. I'm going to paste some code in here. There will, this code will be in the description of this video so you don't have to write it down and then type it back up again. Now click File, Save As. Make sure you save it to the desktop. You can name this file whatever you want. I would just recommend doing something that you could easily identify later. For the purposes of this review, I'm going to do XP update. But now it is very important that you do .reg at the end of the file name, as this will transport the registry key to the registry. And if you don't do this properly, if you don't add the .reg, it will not work. So let's just make sure we save that to desktop here. We see that we have this reg registry file right now on the desktop. We can exit out of this. Now you have to do is click on this registry entry right on the desktop. Now we get an alert from the registry editor saying, are you sure you want to add this information to the registry? Click yes. Now we get an alert here saying that information has been successfully entered into the registry. So from this point on, we should be ready to go. If you wanted to delete both of these files off the desktop safely, you can do it at this time. Shouldn't be any issue. Just to prove that this does in fact work, let's go over to Microsoft's update website here. Now if we click on Express Updates, this may take a moment. So once Windows is done checking for updates for this computer, it might take a couple minutes, uh, I will be back. Hello everybody, I am back. When I ran the Express update, there were about 163 updates available. So what I did was I just ran a customized update search so we can choose which, one, which updates we want to install and which ones we don't. But as we can clearly see, Microsoft Windows XP Embedded options have shown up here. We can see security update for Windows Embedded and Point of Sale Ready 2009 have shown up. We have a bunch of them and if we go under details, we can see that they were published in June of 2014, which that's not the same for all of these updates, but just this one in particular. We can see that's about two months after Microsoft officially ended support for Windows XP. So that shows that we're still getting updates available for this operating system with this registry modification. Now I'm not going to install all these updates. I'm just going to pick, let's do a few of them. And you know, let's do that one. So what we're going to do is I'm just going to install four small updates. I'll show everybody that they all successfully installed. Actually this is going pretty quick so we'll probably just It's going pretty quick. 
I'm just going to let this thing finish up here. And we can see that all these updates are installing on the computer right now. And we can see that they are Windows Embedded and Post Ready 2009. Okay, so this installation complete. You must restart your computer for the update to take effect. I'm just going to restart the computer right now to show everybody that these few randomly selected updates work properly as they should. And I will be right back. Hello, everybody. I am back from restart. Just to show everybody that all of those items installed successfully. If we click on review your update history, we can see that these four updates that we initiated right before the computer restart have all installed as they properly should. Now it's important to note that this is not officially supported by Microsoft and there's no warranty if it ends up messing up your system, which honestly I don't think there's a very high likelihood of that happening. It's also important to note that I don't believe it's too hard for Microsoft to make a workaround for this little registry modification and they could shut this off at any time. I mean, all they have to do is just change the server around a little bit that is delivering the updates, and I could easily see Microsoft being able to stop these updates to Windows XP machines that have already passed their expiration date. But for the time being, and it's been almost a year that people have been able to use this registry modification, I haven't seen any problems. So if you are really inclined to using Windows XP, which personally, from a security standpoint, I wouldn't recommend. I think there are safer operating systems out there. But I'm not trying to preach to anybody. If people are content with using Windows XP, I'm not going to try and say you shouldn't use it. But that's just my personal opinion. But unless Microsoft patches this, I don't see why people won't be receiving updates until 2019. And also, make sure you set up a system restore point before you make this registry modification. It is a little bit tricky to remove it. It's not impossible, but I would highly suggest setting up a system restore point before doing this, as this does have the potential to break your computer. But other than that, I think it's a pretty nice little modification. So please like, comment, and subscribe if you like the video for more, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.